Okay, good morning, everyone. Happy Travel Tuesday. Thanks to everyone for joining us today. Uh, AAA is gearing up for a lot of hustle and bustle this holiday season, both on the roads and in the air, uh, cruise ships and everything else, you name it. So, um, AAA this year expects 115.2 million people to travel for the year-end holiday period. It's going to be one of the busiest years on record. So if you take a look at the overall numbers, 115.2 million, that is up compared to last year. Um, but when you think about the 2019 numbers, overall, we're just shy of those 2019 numbers. And people might say, what's that all about? But if you look at certain categories, for instance, flying, that's going to be up more than 2% compared to 2019. So a full return and surpassing pre-pandemic numbers. So those airports are gonna be extremely busy. And then when it comes to the other category, which includes cruises, train travel, and also buses, that's up more than 4% compared to 2019. So a lot of people are going out and about. We've seen the, the cruise industry rebound uh, since you know the downs of the pandemic and a lot of people taking those holiday cruises as well. So it's not just people going to visit their friends and their loved ones to be together for the holiday season or to even ring in the new year. It's people taking ski vacations, beach vacations, international trips, and more. So you're gonna hear more about that from our panel of experts today. So uh, we have Renee Pilly, she's our senior travel advisor. She's gonna share some expert travel tips. We have Mark Ruba, our communication specialist in Rochester, who has great information about road trips. Valerie Puma, our communication specialist in central New York, has details about uh, uh, traffic safety and things you have to keep in mind there. And then Todd Ingram, our fleet manager, has details about getting your car road trip ready and what to expect if you do experience a breakdown and how you can call AAA for help. So to kick things off, it's my pleasure to introduce Renee Philly. Thanks, Elizabeth. Um, it's surely gonna be a busy holiday season with TSA setting a new record this past Sunday after Thanksgiving. The holiday season is expected, expected to set a new air travel record. The government announced yesterday that over 24 million passports were processed in the past fiscal year, another new record. Passport processing times are back up to the uh, pre-pandemic levels. With that being said, international travel is expected to be busy this holiday season. Based on AAA bookings, top international destinations are London, St. Thomas, Aruba, Dublin, and Toronto. Oh, oh and Aruba. I can't forget Aruba. Orlando still tops the list of destinations in the U.S. many people are still looking to go for. Um, demand for cruise, um, uh, cruises has skyrocketed compared to po uh, post-pandemic. Uh, many 2024 cruises are already sold out, and we always, we always start off the new year with cruise bookings. That's typically the, um, the, the trend that always starts. January 1st always starts with the new cruise bookings, so we, always, we expect that to be the same. We've got 7.5 million people taking to the skies this holiday season, which is a lot. Um, but expect the airports to be extremely busy as they have been. Please arrive to the airport at least two hours in advance. Um, it's easier to be at the airport early and have that time to have a, grab a cup of coffee, grab some water, as opposed to be rushing to your gate and being that last person. If you're going through a busy airport like New York or Atlanta, um, please make sure to plan for extra time because those are going to be very, very busy. Make sure you download the airline app. Make sure the airline has your contact information and make sure that you are keeping up to date on your flight status. Uh, you'll receive updates on the app probably before they even updated them in the gate area. So it's always a good idea to have that app downloaded to your phone. If you do experience a delay, please, work with the airline representatives there at the airport. They're going to be your go-to contacts. Be careful to fall prey of scams. There's a lot of different ways that you can search a, an airline website now online. And in some cases, it's going to take you to a non-authorized site rather than your own airline site. So be careful of which one you're, you're, you're clicking on so that make sure you have it. Also, be sure to have your airline's phone number handy so that we you can contact them, call them while you're standing in line. It doesn't hurt to be trying both at the same time. Uh, try and pack lightly. I know it's hard to say, especially for the winter weather and things like that. But if you can get everything in in a carry-on, your luggage is with you. So if there's a last-minute change or something like that, you don't have to worry about where your luggage is connecting if you've got it just with you as far as the carry-on. Uh, another tip, 
reserve, reserve your airport parking in advance. The parking spot here in Buffalo um, is a great example. They use your AAA discount, but book it in advance because those spots will fill up and there's nothing better than getting to a parking lot to find out you got to find someplace else to park because it's full. So make sure you plan ahead, plan for those parking spots. Um, travel insurance will help you out in the event that you have some, some unforeseen circumstances, things that go awry, but you know, it's always your best idea to always have travel insurance post pandemic. A lot more people have been taking insurance and it's a great idea on, um, it's always better to have it and not use it than wish you had spend the extra couple dollars to have it. And finally pack your patients. Um, we want to make sure everybody has a safe holiday season and it, it doesn't help to not be a little bit more jolly and a little bit more um, goodwill to mankind. So be a little bit more patient with your fellow travelers and everybody will get to have a safe and happy holiday. And with now, I'm going to hand it off to Mark so he can tell us all about uh, roadside travel. Here, Mark. All right, uh, Renee, thank you and good morning. Great to be with everyone uh, today. Well, the roads are going to be busy over the 10-day holiday period. There's no question about it. AAA is forecasting that 103.6 million Americans will go 50 miles or more from their home from December 23rd, this Saturday through January 1st. That's an increase of 1.8% from last year. At nearly 104 million Americans, it is the second highest driving forecast since AAA began tracking holiday travel back in 2000. In 2019, right before the pandemic, 108 million Americans hit the road. All right, let's talk gas prices. Think of them as a nice little stocking stuffer for drivers this year. The national average right now is $3.08 a gallon. Uh, that's for a gallon of regular, six cents cheaper than a year ago heading into the holiday weekend. It's also 23 cents cheaper than it was one month ago, right before Thanksgiving. Prices are falling across New York as well. Uh, locally, as of this morning, $3.55 in the Buffalo Niagara Falls region, $3.50 for a gallon for a gallon of regular here in Rochester, and the winter, $3.43 right now for a gallon of gas in Syracuse. Best and worst times to be on the road, right? Hot topic. So according to our partner, Enrix, which provides transportation data and insight, this Saturday, December 23rd, and next Thursday, December 28th, will be the most congested days on the road. In addition, Saturday, December 30th, as people return from their holiday destinations or travel for New Year's Eve, we'll also see an increase in traffic. The best times to be on the road on these busy days are before lunchtime. In fact, well before lunchtime on December 23rd, as early as 10 a.m. or later in the evening after 7 p.m. So the recommendation here, early in the morning, uh, as a rule of thumb, or later in the evening if you're looking to drive. Minimal traffic impact is expected on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day as well. So that's good news there. Nationwide, big picture, drivers can expect longer travel times in the major metros. I know that doesn't come as a surprise to anybody who's driven there in those areas during the holidays. Denver, Minneapolis, Washington, D.C., could see double the typical delays on an average day. In New York City, Enrix projects a 50% increase in travel time for cars that are headed from the city out to the Hamptons this coming Saturday afternoon. In Boston, Enrix projects a 55% increase in traffic heading north to Portsmouth, New Hampshire this Saturday as well. Bottom line, as I said, it's going to be busy on the roads. The recommendation, avoid peak commuting hours and use traffic apps. Uh, local DOT notifications and 511 services as well to minimize your holiday traffic frustrations. Uh, and to echo uh, Renee's uh, point, pack your patience as well. Uh, Santa is watching you on the roads. All right, with that, I'll turn it over to Valerie, who's got some safety tips this morning. Valerie. Thank you, Mark. The holidays are supposed to be a time of joy and cheer, but they can also be stressful, especially with the traffic that Mark was just talking about. It can be stressful and overwhelming, especially if you are rushing at that last moment. As an advocate for traffic safety, AAA is urging drivers to keep calm, follow traffic laws, avoid distractions, and to never drive when impaired. 
New research from the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety found that unsafe driving behaviors such as speeding, running red lights, drowsy driving, and driving impaired on cannabis or alcohol rose from 2020 to 2021. The survey also showed that road rage is a growing concern, with 23% of drivers surveyed admitting to driving aggressively by switching lanes quickly or tailgating very closely behind another car. Everyone wants to get the perfect gift for their loved ones for the holidays, and emotions can run high trying to meet that deadline. Minor frustrations in parking lots or on the road can turn deadly when drivers take their anger out on other drivers. So please remember to follow the rules of the road and do not respond to aggression with more aggression. We need to be patient with each other and be more forgiving during the holiday season. Elizabeth mentioned that 104 million Americans are going to be driving to their destinations this holiday season, and it is imperative for motorists to pay attention and focus on the road. Put the phone down. Nationwide, distracted driving claims nine lives every single day. No text message is worth reading or sending when injuring or killing someone is the potential cost. But distraction includes more than just your phone. Anything that diverts attention from driving, that could be eating or drinking, adjusting navigation or the radio, talking to other passengers, or talking on speakerphone can result in a fatal injury. December is also National Impaired Driving Prevention Month. This holiday season, many people will be attending holiday parties, and Triple H just wants to remind drivers to have a plan in place to get home safely after a night of festivities. Drivers should choose a designated driver, use a ride share or a local taxi service, or you can even plan to stay with your friend who's hosting or at a nearby hotel if you plan to use alcohol or drugs. Hosts are encouraged to offer non-alcoholic drink options, remind guests to plan ahead and designate a sober driver, and don't be afraid to take the car keys away from guests who are clearly too impaired to drive. Please celebrate safely this holiday season. It's my pleasure to introduce Todd Ingram, who has advice for road trips. Todd? Thank you very much, Vale. So we also want to remind everybody to slow down and move over when you see any AAA police, emergency crews, or anybody working on the side of the road. AAA experts plan to respond to more than 937,000 calls during this season. And here in New York, we expect more than 36,000 requests for service with the most common calls being for a tow truck, jump start, battery replacement, uh, and even flat tires based on data from last year. However, many of those situations can be avoided by making sure your car is road trip ready. So please take time before your holiday road trip to have your car looked over. You'll wanna check your battery, fuel system, tires, brakes, uh, and all the fluid levels to avoid any unnecessary breakdowns. It's important to do this early as possible in case there is an issue that is found and needs to be repaired before you head out. AAA is urging motorists with car batteries over three years old to have their batteries tested now. AAA even offers mobile battery service where we can test your battery at your home or place of work. But before you do take that road trip, you'll wanna go over a few simple tips. Make sure your tires have decent tread. This is extremely important, uh, especially in the wintry conditions. Check your tire inflation on all four tires and don't forget about the spare. And you should check it more frequently in the winter. As the average temperature drops, so will the pressure in your tires. Proper tire pressure levels can be found in the owner's manual or on the tire information sticker typically located on the driver's side door jam. And can't forget about those blades they should completely clear the glass with each swipe. They should be replaced if any of the blade leaves any streaks or misses any spots. And then also make sure you fill your windshield washer fluid reservoir. Uh, with the winter driving, this cleaning solution is important to have, and they do make formulations now that prevent it from freezing up. And another thing you wanna do is always carry that emergency road safety kit. Kit would include things like your mobile phone pre program with any type of rescue apps, important phone numbers, including emergency service and your family members. Pack a charger for that phone, some drinking water, snacks for people and pets, 
a basic first aid kit, snow shovel and ice scraper, some blankets, extra warm clothing such as extra hats, gloves, scarves, and also a flashlight with extra batteries, and some basic hand tools. You can get the complete list at AAA.com, and don't forget the fastest way to request emergency road services through the AAA mobile app. Now I'll turn it back over to Elizabeth. Okay, thank you very much, Todd. Uh, we want to wish everyone on behalf of AAA a safe and happy holiday season. This will wrap up the Facebook portion of today's event, so happy Travel Tuesday and safe travels to everyone this holiday season.